Good evening everyone, this is Mrs Gunn. I'm just going to talk you through how to use the Pixel Maths app. Uh, we've found that people that do use the app um, and engage with it daily are those that make the most progress in their GCSEs between now and then and um, the ones that do the best. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get on there. Uh, we just type into Google Pixel Maths app. You only have to do 5 or 10 minutes a day to make a huge difference. You can do it on a desktop, a tablet, a, um, a mobile, so Android or I, uh, iPhone, and it also works on iPads. And I think you might be able to use it on some Kindle products as well. So I'm using a laptop, so I'm going to go on to this one here. Now, uh, sometimes it might ask you about Flash Player. Flash Player has no harm to your computer. It's used for lots and lots of websites. Um, and so you'll need it for this. So make sure you have that downloaded and installed. Here we go then. So you've got your school ID. Everyone's is the same, HF158. Now your user ID is, is obviously different. Uh, it's your first name and your surname. So however it appeared on the register, probably back in year 10. Okay, if you need me to update it, I, I can. Um, so if your name was John Smith, you would just type in John Smith. Now for this evening, for this video, I'm using a test account. Okay, and everybody's passwords are the same and that's maths, M-A-T-H-S. Don't worry about capital letters, it does it all automatically. So log in. There we go. So, daily challenge. If you're just looking to do a little bit every day, just building up your confidence, this is where you want to start. So, daily challenge. I'm going to do it. You don't have to, but I'm going to do it. And it should load up here with a challenge. There you go. Now, here we go. We're multiplying by 10, 100 or 1000. So, I'm going to go through and I'm going to type in some answers. I'm going to get a couple wrong. Because I want to just see what happens when I um when I show you what happens when you get it wrong. So you got um ba -do -do -do, six hundred. Uh, that's five hundred. That's one. Huh. And then let's get another one wrong. Let's go two point four four. Okay. Now, if I'd have struggled with that, you will see at the top here. There's a PowerPoint. So you can click on PowerPoint. You should recognize these PowerPoints. We use them a lot for our intervention sessions and our revision lessons. These are created by Pixel and they're the top resources for um, helping students to learn. So here you go, you've got loads, loads of questions just to help you complete the task in front of you. Okay. Once you've done that, you should be able to do it. So if I mark it, oh, I've got a few wrong. There we go. Uh, and I can, if I want to, refresh. That means it will refresh everything I've done. I can, um, and I can redo it if I'm not happy with my score. Or I could go on to the next question. That's where it cycles through questions and it makes them harder as you go along. I'm not going to do either of them at the moment. I'm going to go back to main menu. Okay. So here's what you're looking at. We're going to start with take a test. So if you've got your PLCs with you, um, this is where you're going to want to start looking at, really. Um, you're going to want to look at the things that you've got red and amber on for each paper and find them in here. Okay. Now, yours should have some data on here. This one doesn't because it's a test account. When you click on PLC, it should have something. Now, if you've used the app before, it should have some of this data filled in. And this is filled in from how you do on the app. Okay, so uh, I did some factorizing questions earlier, so I got a green on it. That's lovely. Um, whereas I got a red on some upper and lower bound calculations, for example. OK, so your idea is that before your exams, you've got this all filled out and you're all on ambers and greens for all of these. Okay. Uh, 
you've got a success line that tells you how many of each kind of thing you've done. So you can see I've done a number of number questions, one or two algebras, but none of the others. So I might look at that and go, well, I've been working really hard on those. I'm going to work on probability next or geometry. Go back. So you can search for a specific question, but if you see, there's lots and lots and lots and lots of questions. Didn't mean to click that. Okay, so actually it's easiest to go through from here. Uh, if I was going through from here, so algebra, uh, look, I'm a red already on factorise. Okay, oh, it's I've got a green, but because I've only got a green on one of them and I haven't done the other two, it's showing up as a red. So let's try the next one. Okay. Oh. Let's see if... Ha! Now, at the top here, we had PowerPoint before. This one has got a video. This is one I want to show you. Oh, I haven't got my sound on. Equal zero. Okay. Where we are given numbers for A, B and C. So, so she'll far, talk you through how to do some right. of the questions that are similar. Okay. Uh, so there we go. So I'm going to type in some answers. Oh, that's a tricky one. 40, uh, 20, so that's uh, 20x plus 2, uh, 1x plus uh, 1. Should work. Mark it. Yes, so what did I do wrong there? Oh, I didn't read the signs in there, so one of those should be in a negative. Oops, a daisy, pay more attention. So I got a number on that one. Okay. Uh, so that's how you use take a test. I can do some set tasks. Now you might get some homework tasks. This person's got three homework tasks. You do the task. Again, you've got video and PowerPoint to help you. Uh, you've got your results. So you can see, oh, one of the tasks I did, I got two out of four. Lovely, I haven't done the other ones. Okay. You can also see what we see. Then you've got some other things here. You can do an arithmetic challenge, so that's your basic number work. You've got maths and science, so that's a lot of physics, but there's also some chemistry and biology questions in there too. Where that's not based on science content, it's based on the maths in science. Um, or the science in maths. Uh, problem solving, that's a lot of the wordy kind of questions. Okay, back to menu. Then here, now this account is linked to higher tier, so the grades are going to be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. If your account is linked to foundation tier, then um, yours will be grades 1 to 5. Okay, uh, This is what you do if you've not really used the app before and you don't have your PLC with you. This goes through, you can see there's 87 questions of grade 4. So that will help you if you're aiming to get your 4, you'll want to just go through all of those questions really. Uh, just like in um, my maths, you have to mark it for it to save it. Okay, And it will update it then on those coloured things, um, the colour coding earlier on few more bits to look at, the paper QLA. Now, because we haven't, um, this is a test account, there's no data attached to this. Uh, so there's not much to show you here, but this is filter is off. So you'll want to turn it on. So just click it. And it should come up with, it'll come up with these and it should also come up with some wave questions, uh, wave papers. So the wave papers are the mock papers that you did back in November. Um, we've uploaded all of those results on for you so that you can create worksheets, it'll create a report for you, you can take a test based off your strengths and weaknesses from your mock and you can download your data. Okay, That will be extremely useful if you haven't done a huge amount of work on your mock papers. If you've attended intervention sessions then most likely you've done a lot of work from your mock. Uh, two more things to look at then. Lastly, is uh, second to lastly, is the scoreboard. Now this class has only got one test student uh, in it. You can see they've got current points is seven and all points is seven. Okay, every week we are going to be resetting the current points. 
So at the end of the week, we will look at the class. It does a scoreboard. The person in the class who's got the most current points uh, will win a prize. But it does keep track of all of your points. Uh, so we may do um, prizes for that at certain points in the term. OK, um, now for these, we have a look. The person at the top of the list, we do have a look at what exercises they've done. If they've done the same thing a 100 times, that's not helping them. So they're not going to get rewarded for it. What you get rewarded for is working properly and, and efficiently. So you do lots of different types of question because it's for your own revision. OK. Um, I think that's all I need to say on that bit. Lastly, then edit the profile. So there's some bits that you can't change because they're linked to what we do and the data we analyze. You can input an email address for if you want password reminders. Um, I would use your school email address if you want that. You can reset your password. It doesn't have to be maths. However, if you forget it and you haven't got an email uh, address, you can come to us and we'll be able to tell you what the password is that you typed in. OK, um, and I think that is all that I need to say about the app. There's um, the mock data. If you've got any issues with that aspect of it, please come and find me. Uh, they've changed it this year for how you um, do the data. So if there's any mistakes, or well, there's anything that just isn't working, come and find me and um, we'll try and sort it out for you. If you're struggling to get uh, time to use the app uh, when you're on Wi-Fi, obviously at school you haven't got much, uh, Wi-Fi use and some of you won't want to drain your data. On a Monday after school, we run something called the Maths Homework Detention. Now, you are more than welcome to come to that. It is held in an IT room. You won't come to it as a punishment. It's a time for you to be able to use the computers with math staff around to be able to support you in your revision. You don't even have to do computer work if you don't want to. If you want to bring any maths work with you, there will always be a maths teacher around on a Monday evening to support you. OK, so that should be something that a lot of you are taking advantage of. OK, I think that's everything I need to talk about with this. I hope you have a lovely evening and I'll see some of you again tomorrow.